toxic employees or toxic leaders. I could even go so far as to say toxic owners. That's a, that's a reality in a lot of businesses. Um, but people like to use the word toxic and, and I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of toxic at all because in, in their own mind, nobody is toxic. They are just themselves. So, so instead of looking at it from the term toxic, let's look at it from the, the, from the concept of what is the culture that is being built? So if somebody is being labeled as toxic, what that's really meaning is there's some sort of strife against the culture that is in existence. So the first question is, has the business owner built a culture? Has the business owner built the culture with intent? Has the business owner communicated that culture to everybody? Does, does everybody have buy-in to that culture? When recruiting new people, is the primary recruitment tool that culture? Because it should be. And because you don't recruit people based on skills. Obviously, you might have a minimum skill set that a, that a new employee has to reach. But every business is going to have to train every new employee in what their business does and how they do it. So the skill sets become much less significant than the culture. Because if it's a culture fit, then the person is going to want to be there. They're going to be excited to be there. They're going to be empowered by being there. That, that employee is going to be excited about learning how to do a job. They're going to be wanting to do a better job. They're going to want the culture to succeed. They're going to want the business to grow and succeed. When you don't recruit to culture, what you wind up with is some highly skilled people with, who act in ways that are contrary to your culture. That doesn't make them a bad person necessarily, but maybe a bad fit in your business. Um, and that's where the toxic term comes in. Once you're in that situation where you have somebody who is acting in contrary to, to your culture, um, first off, define your culture. If, if you haven't done that, then that toxic person you're talking about, they're probably defining the culture for you and you just don't like it. Um, so define the culture. Um, second, get buy-in to the culture. And that includes with the person who is being perceived as toxic. That person has to have buy-in. Ultimately, if the, the, it's not a culture fit, then it's probably time to, to help, help that employee find another place of employment. Um, and, and that can be done in positive, negative ways. We don't have to go into all the details on that. Uh, but the end result is, um, if it's not a culture fit, then it's a person that really shouldn't be there.